Hello YouTube, um, I'm not sure how the continuity is going to work on this because, well, I have to work <laughs> to pay the bills and nights are now getting very dark very quickly at about four o'clock, you know, when I'm finished or starting to finish, we're losing light. So I don't get much chance to work on the cars anymore at this time of year. And the weekends, well, last week was quite a busy one, uh, fixing the bumper on the 1.8 Tigra. Um, yeah, continuity. What am I talking about? Who do I think I am? A massive channel? Anyway, waffle, waffle. Right, so um, today, or over the next few days, which will be one video for you, um, the 1.4 Tigra, this one. Let me turn you around. Yeah, this one, the 1.4 Tigra. Um, there's not a lot wrong with it. I've replaced the light already, which is broken. Um, does need an MOT, but the interior, let me unlock it and I'll show you what I mean. It's a typical Tigra thing. Um, and it's well, it's basically me being anal, as I always am. But the interior, although in pretty good nick, needs a very good clean, as they all do. Um, but obviously the usual kind of yeah, rubbish going on with the seat just here. It's not, it's not major, but I've gone out and bought another seat anyway. Well, I've bought another couple of seats. So I need to change the seats, but I'm not going to change the seats until I've given it a really good clean. Because as you can see... It ain't good. Um, also going to seal up the body control module box because, as you know from previous videos, um, they can be the source of uh, leaks and problems. And um, yeah, just general tidy up really. Um, I've undecided what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I've got two cars sitting here. Um, that one I'm using at the moment, the 1.8. Um, but I'm doing some jobs on that because there's a few things that need doing. MOT runs out on that in. January, mid-January, MOT runs, oh, it's already run out on this one, so this needs MOT. So at the moment, I'm a bit in limbo. Um, I've got somebody interested in that, and I really need to finish it and sell it, or keep it. I want to keep the 1.8, but, well, needs must. I don't know what I'm doing at the moment. Anyway, waffle, waffle again. <laughs> I seem to be very good at that. So, I want to get the seats out of this one, get it ready for a really good clean and then put the new seats in, which are in the garage at the moment, and um, get it MOT'd. That's the plan. Right, let's crack on. So again, if these videos seem a little rushed, I do apologise, but I am battling the weather and I am battling the light. Um, so right, four bolts to get out first of all, two at the back, two at the front. Let's get these seats out. And for these, it's a T40 star drive. Don't forget, you need to disconnect your electric block, which is under here. Oh, come on off you bugger. Oop, come on, come on, you can do it, come on. Now two hands. So electrical block is under there. We've got a zip tie just there as well. Two secs. There you go, there's your electrical box. So all you do, flip that up like so, and then you pull the slider out. Ooh, he says, easy, and it? Pull the slider out like so. There you go, hopefully you saw that. That's just basically, yeah, clip there, slider that pulls out, but there is a zip tie there, just there. So make sure you get that off as well, because that will bite you in the backside if you don't. You go it's free have wound it forward a little bit uh, the back rest forward a little bit just helps you get it out a bit easier and there you go in one messy garage one messy seat uh, the new ones hiding under here there they are so what goodies have I got let's have a look well I've got some fungus excellent 50p 20p 5p 10p, 60, ooh, can I count up? 50, 60, 70, 85, yeah, I can count. Um, McDonald's, I don't want to touch whatever that is. And uh, a pocket knife. <laughs> ooh, Swiss Army, that's a bonus, mine. Um, right, yeah, <laughs> that's this side out. And as you can see, 
Um, there's a very good reason I took the seat out. It's a little messy. Next, oh, still got the original pull bar. Yeah, but if you don't know, it's not just a piece of metal randomly shoved in there. That sits in there like that. It should actually sit at that end as well. Um, you pull it out, put it in there if the boot won't release. And uh, I'm not going to do it because it's all plastic. And there's a lever in there you pull. That'll release your boot. Good, eh? Right, let's get on. We got this side then. Um, a chip, nice, a pound, and uh, a penny. Yeah, slightly better this side. There you go, 186 up already. Excellent. Right, next job cleaning. There you go, plenty of wet, soapy suds. Let them soak in for a while and then suck it all out. Yeah, it smells nice, clean, and fresh. And there you go, all clean and fresh. It smells lovely. And uh, yeah, ironically, it's just started raining. <laughs> See what I mean about getting jobs done this time of year? Almost impossible. Right, we'll let that dry and then um, seats back in. Well, that'll be the end of the work today then. <laughs> Doesn't look that dark on the camera, but it's dark and it's raining. Chucking it down. Ah, gotta love English weather. Well, hello internet. Uh, another day for me, but same video for you. Um, so it's been left overnight. Um, just opened the, the windows a few hours ago because the sun's sort of out. Um, have a look at that. It's kind of bluish. Um, just to dry it out a little bit, but it all looks good now. It looks nice and clean. So let's get the seats back in. Look at the state of my garage. Right, obviously the original seats are not going back in because of the tear on the side. We've got uh, some replacements there that are in good condition. So they're going in. There you go, all back in. Um, well, kind of. Place them in. Better bolt them in now. There you go, that's that one bolted down. So now, don't forget, you've got to put a new cable tie on that, just there. There it is, Let's hold that in place. And then obviously, Let's just do it now, see if I can do it with one hand. Your connector goes on there, push it from the back, slide the slider back in, push, push the locking pin back in, and you're done. So, yep, yeah, just get a cable tie on that, and we are done. And there you go, cover back in place, cable tie in place, this side is done. Right, other side. And there you go, we are done. Everything back in place, everything looking good. So the only mark on here is that bit there. And I'll cover that in a little bit of fabric paint anyway. So in much better condition than the one I took out. So we are good. New interior put in, just needs a bit of a clean up. And uh, yeah, and then this one's got to go for the MOT. Um, I've got the carpets to put back in. The driver's side one, I've just got to do repair on it because it's worn through, so I'll put a patch on that. Um, just a heel pad type patch and it'll be good um, but yeah other than that um, I've got the scuttle panel back in there and uh, yeah we're looking good so I just need a bit of clean that's all but uh, interior's back in good stuff and there you go ladies and gentlemen that's where we end the video um, yeah not much wrong with this one um, like I say, want to get it for the MOT. Um, it did fail last time on emissions, but um, I put another math on it. I've put uh, a new uh, Lambda sensor on it and seems to be behaving itself now. Um, had the, uh, the scanner on it and everything seems to be in tolerance. Uh, and you've got the cat smell coming out the back. So I'm pretty sure, pretty confident we've uh, solved that problem too. So uh, yeah, there you go. Let's get it MOT'd. And uh, yeah, one of them, either this one, or the poor one sitting over there, it's going to have to be sold. Or both, who knows. Alright, thanks for joining me for this one, and uh, I will catch you later. 
Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.